Debuting in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 46 from March of 1967, the Shocker, Herman Schultz, has become one of Spider-Man's most recognizable villains. I think the main reason for that is because he has fought the Web Slinger more times than I can count, not only in the comics, but also a lot of other mainstream media like video games, even the MCU. Herman Schultz was a talented inventor and engineer who used his skills to become a successful criminal and well-known safecracker. After being caught several times by the police, he would end up creating a pair of gauntlets he dubbed Vibro Smashers that could fire air blasts of powerful vibrating frequencies at the press of a thumb trigger. He would also call himself the Shocker and rob banks before coming face to face with Spider-Man. In their first battle, Shocker would actually walk away victorious due to an injured shoulder of Spider-Man after his battle with the Lizard in the previous issue. When they fought next, Spider-Man would lock Shocker in a full Nelson, but he didn't tap out. Spidey then webbed up his thumbs so he couldn't press the gauntlet triggers and followed it up with a delicious knuckle sandwich. Schultz would return in issue 72, entitled Rocked by the Shocker, to steal an ancient stone tablet that had the power of rejuvenation. Spidey gives him the reverse crotcheroo and defeats him once again. In issue 151, Shocker causes a blackout in New York City in order to spell his name and demand a $1 million ransom. Spidey, you guessed it, beats him again, this time by sticking Shocker's fingers to his vibro smashers so he can't turn them off. This causes him to smack his head against a wall and get knocked unconscious. Despite being on the wrong end of his own attacks on several occasions, that's right, the Shocker shocks himself at times, he has been very resourceful in his encounters with Spider-Man. He's put the beat down on the webhead countless times, and their battles usually satisfy. They can be hard hitting and extremely physical. When he has defeated Spider-Man, he never completely finishes him off, because he feels that would be a dishonorable way to end things. He'd rather leave him there in a broken mess. As long as Shocker is victorious, he feels there is no need to kill him. He is one, and Spider-Man knows it. That's all that matters. Over the years, Shocker has not only battled Spider-Man on his own, which he has a lot of experience with, let me tell you, but he has teamed up with various other villains as well. Shocker was a member of Egghead's Masters of Evil at one point, and even found himself in the ranks of an incarnation of the Sinister Six, called the Sinister Seven. Human Schultz is a villain who just wants attention. He demands respect and oozes egotism. He wants his moniker of the Shocker to mean something and make people think twice when they hear it. Unfortunately, he is the target of ridicule from not only Spider-Man, but the New York masses. They don't see him as much of a threat. I feel there are many similarities between Shocker and the DC villain Killer Moth, because they both want the same thing. They want to be respected. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The Shocker is what I call a first boss villain, in that he isn't the bottom of the barrel by any means, but he isn't that much of a threat either. He's a step above the average criminal. In fact, I believe Shocker is essentially a thug with an upgrade. Without his Vibro Smashers, he stands little chance against Spider-Man, even the police, seeing as he was caught several times before inventing them. Despite all that, Shocker is one of the most recognizable Spider-Man villains out there, and he made a huge impact on me when I was a kid. Being that he was, more often than not, one of those first boss villains, it means I was introduced to him very early on in my childhood, via video games like Spider-Man 2 and to Electro for example. Shocker is a bit of a joke, his threat level relies on a weapon that can be relatively easy to remove or nullify, and his costume has never been that flattering, but he will always have a place in my heart. Shocker, you do you man, you do you.